morning guys, MC Procrastinate here for another 2 Minute Video, it's part of a 2 Minute Series. If you don't know what 2 Minute Series is, check the link below and you'll find out all about it. Topic of today, vanishing point. In one of my other videos I talk about counter steering, how it can actually save your life going around the corner. However, to avoid going around the corner too fast in the first instance, to be able to really gauge the speed that you should use on a corner, especially when perhaps you're out on a road where you know there's a lack of visibility, poor visibility, you don't really, really know the road. In fact, you should never apply that I really know the road rule because you never know what's around the road. But to be able to manage that corner well and see as far as you can around that corner, but importantly, be able to manage the corner with the speed that you go with the bike to ensure that you manage that uh, bend at a, in a safe manner and a safe speed and of course you know ultimately producing a, a, a beneficial outcome so one of the things that we can actually do with that is a thing called managing point and i'll be absolutely honest with you i went on an advanced training course in wellington which was um, about a year and a half ago and i'd never really heard of a vanishing point and to be fair i'd never really used it i'd always read the road lines on a road or the signs to try and understand how fast i need to go which sometimes unless you really know the road signs well enough can be a bit ambiguous about how fast or how slow you need to go. Um, especially once you know that your bike can perform a lot better than some of the speed limits would suggest. Like so for example if you come up to a speed limit that maybe says 50, you get up to that 50, you, you may well do 70 and it's well within the limits of going around there. However, skipping forward, so the vanishing point, what is that? Now I'm going to put up some 3D visualization tools left hand side of me to try and help you visualize how this actually works. Um, I've actually created this using Blender. I'm not particularly rendered the models great, but hopefully you'll get an idea of how the vanishing point actually happens and how we can manipulate that vanishing point to increase or decrease our speed. So I'm going to discuss exactly what's going on here. So right now, what we're doing is we're coming into a corner, okay? Now, the vanishing point is basically the point on the right hand side here where we can no longer see around the corner, right? Now, that point with respect to our distance, as we're looking at that, will start to come towards us. And what I mean by is we're st we still can't see around the corner as we're progressing up to the corner, all right? And if that point starts coming closer, we're, we're catching up. So we're, we're enclosing onto that point. Again, watch the video. So if we're enclosing onto that point, what that suggests to us is this is gonna be a really, really tight corner and we need to slow down. So if we start to slow down, and now that that vanishing point, the distance between what we can see around the corner and where we're at, if those two distances, if those distances are joined each other, so in other words, if they're not enclosing, if they're not increasing, and they're not decreasing, that means we've got a nice stable speed for that corner. Again, if that point starts coming towards us and that gap starts closing, we need to slow down. However, on the other side of things, if that point starts to go away from us, we can start to increase our speed and very often we will open up into the corner on our way out. And of course, if it opens up and recloses back in, we use that vanishing point, that distance that we can see and how that closes in to gauge our speed. Now, it's such a fundamentally basic, simple rule that really helps you ride when you're out on roads especially when you're uncomfortable because it's really really simple to go I understand that I can't see around that corner that corner that that same point on the corner is coming in I'm coming in that corner I still can't see oh wait a minute it's opening up now so I'm very you speed on that so that's a really really simple rule guys that will help you stay safe on the road it's definitely helped me out a lot it's given me a huge amount of confidence in riding and I'll share a couple of links below. So hopefully, if you haven't understand what I'm talking about, because it's really, really important when you're talking about safety, etc., and you're talking about some of these tips and tricks, that um, one, you relay the information correctly, and, and two, you produce, uh, and two, you provide the resources that are available so that people can get the correct information. So that's another video, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Do you use the vanishing point? Did you know what that was? And um, yep. For now, MC Procrastinator out.